Meantime, the numbers are in for the holiday shopping season, and it's good news. Retail sales shot up just over 3% compared to last year. Here with a closer look at how this year's spending is and what it says about the overall economy is NBC's business correspondent, Brian Chung. Brian, good morning to you. So the good news is people are spending some more money right now. What does that tell us about where things are? What stands out to you? Yeah, well, I mean, it looks like the economy is roaring, right? I mean, when we talk about fears that we would have been in a recession, that was the talking point headed into 2023. Retail sales at the end of this year don't look like that at all. People spent money. They spent it mostly online and on close. So take, take a look at this 6% boost in online sales, 2% boost in in-store. So people were clicking away. They were specifically buying a lot of clothes. So again, this data comes from MasterCard. If you break out the categories, apparel was one of the biggest categories, although people were a little bit choosier on things like electronics and jewelry, interestingly. This and year. big spending at restaurants. Look yeah. at that. That was striking. Yep. Um, what do you think this says about the overall health of the economy? Does it, does it show any trends or is it sort of a one-off? Yeah, well, the reason why we pay attention so much to this is because the American consumer, all of us, make up about two-thirds of the U.S. economy. So they are the driving engine. And what we're seeing from this retail sales report which, by the way, is not adjusted for inflation. But even when you do adjust it for inflation, it is not looking recessionary at all. Again, the R word was something that we were all talking about headed into 2023. And if it was indeed a recessionary environment, this retail sales report would be negative, not positive 3%. So headed into a 2024 where, yes, there is the concern that maybe the recession risk is still lurking around the corner, at least for right now, it shows the American consumer which is such a big part of this economy, still looks really resilient. You know, what they think may be that that so-called soft landing. Hopefully we it's have possible. it for this country right now. We'll see. Brian, thanks so much. See back in the next bit. hour yeah. with some smart money moves that you should make as we head into the new year. Brian, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.